didn't get any comments about this loot thing. <sighs> Morning, guys and gals. So, I'm up a little later than I'd like. Because I went to sleep later than I'd like. So yesterday's vlog's going to be late. And in future, I have to make sure not to make that mistake. I have to actually make sure to get myself to do the dishes and shower and go to bed at my alarm at 7.30. Right now, I'm rather sticky because I didn't shower last night. So I'm going to do that, get dressed, and edit the vlog. Luckily, I don't have a class until 12, I think. So plenty of time to do all this. Should still get started. Finished editing yesterday's vlog, so I'm gonna head back to my room and export and upload that and get on with the rest of my day. Which is probably gonna start in about an hour getting ready to go to the lecture. So, yeah. I don't think the video is processing at all. It says processing is started. It says it here, and it has said that on my phone, the YouTube app, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, it has actually finished processing. It took a lot longer than it usually does. Usually it processes while uploading. Also the upload was slower. Weird. Then again, I, have, I was doing it at a different time of day, so who knows. So uh, I guess I'm just making the final touches and publishing it. So let's do that. So, time to head over to my class, and then after that, I'm going to go shopping. Um, now, one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that the class finishes at um, 12.45, and after shopping I want to head down to the dining hall, which closes at 2. So, and I want to buy a lot of stuff, or at least I want to look around and be able to look and see how much I can get, so... Um... I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to be able to make lunch, but we'll see. Act is over. Now on to IGA. It just occurred to me that I've forgotten to bring my shopping list. I think I know. I think I can remember most of the things I need. I want to look at vegetables, including carrots and broccoli and cabbage. I want to look at the chicken, canned fish. Ah, uh, there's something else as well. I'm back from shopping. I got all sorts of stuff. Let's see. Let's. <laughs> Welcome back to Unbagging with Robert, the show watched by about 40 people about a guy and his groceries. And today I have a bag of carrots. Um, you know, I bought these in the past, but they've gone off pretty quickly. So I'm going to give them one last try and then I'll just start trying buying single carrots or you know, a few single carrots. Um, I bought some Nutella because I uh, was dying to miss it. That was expensive, probably a bad idea. Uh, I bought some chicken, um, but and I managed to choose the cheapest one. This one is seven dollars sixty-nine. I made a bit of a mistake actually. I bought the chicken. I didn't think to buy any seasoning or anything, so I'm probably not going to cook that until I can really think of any good recipes. Um, who knows? I might try my mum's paprika chicken, or I could try curry chicken. I could probably cook curry chicken actually. That doesn't require much. That requires crumbs, which I have for making bread. Um, I think it requires... It does require flour, though. I'm not sure if I have that. I think it might do, but who knows. I have apples. Uh, 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 last a few weeks ago, I bought a, bag, a thing of apples. I uh, bought one again, because they're great. I buy pink lady apples, because, I don't know, I'm just finding the sweetest, I guess. Uh, is that in that bag? That's it. My chocolate. That's a given. There's always a bar of top deck. Some Pringles, because they're still on sale, and because I like them. Uh, who knows when I'll eat them? Who hopefully not for dinner at some point. I bought some salmon. A couple of things. It cost me four dollars. Four dollars for two cans of salmon. Salmon is ridiculous. But that's the cheapest there, and they're on sale. So, <laughs> bought some of those. I'll give them a try. And I bought brought some broccoli. Uh, so I'll have to learn how to cook that. I was also going to buy some cabbage, but I wasn't entirely sure how to bring it home. Cabbage is quite big. Um, maybe another time. So I need to put that all that way quickly. Then I'm going to get changed because I'm hot and sweaty and I need to get into something a little bit lighter because it looks like summer out here. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. But also boiling. So, yeah. 
shorts and t-shirt for me now, and then head down to D Hall for lunch. So here's what I look like in summer. It's uh, not particularly flattering, especially with the, the shirt tucked in. It's the third time I've said that. It's not particularly flattering, especially with the shirt tucked in, but yeah, it works, it's comfortable. Um, although the pants are a little baggy, so I might want to get some new ones at some point. I bought them when I was a lot, a lot wider than I am now. Um, it also shows up a matter of a potato, I look like, so not as much as I did a few weeks ago, or when I bought these pants. Sweet potato chips or wedges. Blech. I'm just going to stick with chicken. Not many of my friends here today, except Matt. What does one do at the beach, really? Swim. swim? You sit in the water, in the water. just bring your music, chill, I guess. I think that probably would have brought Steve O's footy and had a kick around. But the don't get me wrong, the beach is fun. I just think. Hmm. Yeah. I prefer pool water to beach water. I don't know. Just, I guess it's less turbulent. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Depends. Like when there's, when there's actual waves and stuff, then it's fun to start swimming the waves. Just some broccoli for the road. Yep. Undercooked. Definitely undercooked. So. A little bit of Robert's trivia for you. Um, I hate sunscreen. Um, specifically sunscreen that you know you use in a bottle and you squirt it into your hand and you spray it across your skin. I don't like it. I find it sticky and annoying and just ugh. Um, I have always hated that kind of sunscreen. Um, and this is why, uh, certainly for the last few years, maybe five years, who knows how many, recently anyway, I, during summer I've been wearing uh, long sleeve shirt and a pair of jeans um, all day, every day when I'm out and about going to school or uni and stuff. And I do that because that also protects me from the sun. So the, certainly the denim in the jeans does. I'm not entirely sure about the shirt really. Um, but uh, of course there is the chance of overheating with that, like I did today. But granted I was wearing more today than, I, than usually on a summer day. Um, uh, jeans and a single long sleeve shirt is less layers than a pair of sweatpants, a long sleeve shirt, and one of these. So I was wearing a bit more today than uh, I used to during summer. But um, you know, there is the same. It's still the same problem. I could still overheat. Um, so I tend to bring a water, bottle of water around with me and just be careful, stay in the shade and all that. Um, but I've actually recently, certainly this year, I've started to come around to the idea of wearing, uh, sh short sleeves and jeans, uh, not jeans, shorts during summer because it's more comfortable. So, uh, if I want to be out and about in summer, I need to find another way to keep me from getting sunburnt. Um, I have an idea. Uh, I didn't know this existed until a month or so ago, but... Apparently there are there is some sort of spray on sunscreen that you can get. It's you know in a can and it's like it's like an aerosol. Basically you spray it on you and it works the same and you don't get your hands sticky and all that. So I want to try that. I want to see if I can get some and tr give it a try. Um, I want to do some research on it first, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, there should be some available at the chemist. So mm, I have to do some research and give it a look in. Mm. So it's 3.52, so I don't have to go to the gym just yet, but there is something I do want to do. I'm going to head down to Res Life, and I need to ask them a question about my ac academic probation. Um, specifically, uh, the email, I think I mentioned this email, that says that, um, let's see, it says ineligibility to return in 2018. Uh, and basically, so here it says the portal will not allow you to reapply at this time. Um, and down here it says a place will be quarantined for you pending your results, right? See, there's that. But also, there's another email. Um, this is you weekly. Now, this one says that uh, to live at Uni Hall next year, you need to submit your application by Tuesday, 19th September, which is well before the exam. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, whether I'm supposed to um, apply now and it would just be pending until I get my results back, assuming I get good results. <laughs> um, 
or whether I actually have to wait until I get my results before I can submit the form to apply for next year. By the way, if that's the case, it means that I will have to go home for... I say home. This is home. It means I have to go back to my parents' place for a month. At least a month. And come, move back in beginning of next year. Which is, you know, not easy. So, yeah, so I need to go down to ResLife and ask them this question. Okay, so I sorted that out. Or rather, I've gotten that cleared up. Okay, so what's going to happen is um, I don't apply. My room is actually quarantined. It means I'm going to keep that room. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's still mine until the point in which the results come out and it, they're bad results, if they're bad results. Uh, at that point, the room refuses there. At that point, the room is no longer mine. Um, so, it's basically, they're assuming a good result. So. I go through the year, I continue to do my units, uh, hopefully I get a good result. Um, when the results come out, then I talk to ResLife, or someone specifically in ResLife who's there for J House, and, and I talk with her and she sorts out whether um, I come back or not, and we just sort of sort it out that way. Um, sort of works like that, it's a little harder to explain, uh, and you know how I'm terrible at explaining things. Um, now. The unit results come out in early, mid-December, right? I'm pretty sure the lease ends before that, but I talked with someone else in Res Life, and she said that uh, when, that um, I can get a lease extension. Um, so my lease, uh, as of an hour or so from now, will extend through to the 20th or so of December, which will be after the results come out. And at that point, if my results are great, then I talk to them down there and... Uh, Basically, I guess I just continue to stay here and get the summer lease I want. Um, and if my results aren't good, then I go home on the 20th and be just in time for Christmas. It's brilliant. So, in summary, clapping. So, in summary, uh, I don't apply now. I wait, I do what I can in my units and make sure I get good marks. And then, when my results come out, I go down to Res Life, I talk to them, and that decides whether or not I stay. Uh, okay, that pretty much sums it up. And if not, then I go home, I say home, I go back to Glen Forest on the 20th, um, just in time for Christmas. So, it kind of works out either way. It actually kind of works out either way. Of course, I do go home at the end of the year, I do have to sort out living arrangements the next year. Because otherwise, <laughs> I had to deal with the 90 minutes to 100 minutes travel time that I had to face last year. Because Glen Forest is about 90 minutes public transport time away from here. <sighs> Minimum. So that's fun. Hence why I'm here in the first place. So let's just try and do well in, our, in the units. So that... I can actually stay here and not have to face that again next year. Or, as a fallback, get a job so that I can hopefully have the chance to move into another place um, sometime during December or January if, if, I, need, if I need to. Um, I think there's a rule where you need to have a job for three months or so before um, a, a landlord or someone will allow you to rent a flat. But, uh, so I need to, I would like to get that job search going as soon as possible. Um, but that's, but in that case it's just a fall, fall back, um, because I do really like this place and I'd like to stay here, so. And like clockwork, it's 4.20. In fact, my alarm went off just as I stopped recording. That last clip. <laughs> that timing, yo. So. Uh, I need to get changed, uh, not all that much, I think. Just need to pull on my secondary athletic gear. I think I'll just change out of all this, I won't bother putting stuff over it. I don't really need to, I'm just heading down to the gym. And uh, get started, simple as that. Headed off to the gym, as you can see. Uh, afterwards, I am probably going to head down to Broadway again. Uh, see if I can pick up a few herbs and spices. Um, a bit of paprika chicken or something like that. And then, I'm actually going to pick up fish and chips, probably. Who knows? I'll think about it. 
and I, hmm. So, we finished at the gym. I can't actually ride straight over to IGA, because, uh, well, I'm wearing this. I mean, I suppose I could anyway, but I'd rather, I'd, bar, I'd rather be wearing outside clothes than this athletic gear, than going to buy fish and chips. It doesn't really matter. <sighs> I don't know. But yeah. So, I'm gonna get home, shower, get changed, get back to my bike, ride down and buy fish and chips. That's gonna be dinner. Okay, <clears throat> this might be a little quiet, you know. Anyway, I have my fish and chips, and uh, I'm gonna eat that. It's gonna be great. All I'm feeling right now is hungry and tired, ready for bed. So, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna feel good doing it. I'm gonna do my dishes and clean my bed because it's covered in junk. And I've already showered, so I can just go straight to the bed after washing my hands. And wake up in the morning, edit the vlog, and um, start the Saturday feeling refreshed, hopefully. So, the vlog is edited. I'm feeling a little bit more awake than I was yesterday, and uh, it's good that I am because it's currently 7.46 in a bit. Um, I managed to get to bed fairly early, relatively early. I stopped what I was doing and tried to get to sleep at about 9. Didn't really work out. I was lying awake for a number of hours, but, um, you know, still woke up at the right time. Uh, turns out I, I'd turned my alarms off yesterday because I knew, or the day, you know, the evening before yesterday because I knew that I wouldn't want to get up early yesterday. Uh, but I forgot to turn them back on. So, my first alarm didn't go off. I managed to wake up before, um, the second alarm would have gone off, so I turned that back on. Uh, the second alarm, by the way, is reminding me to edit the vlog, so be, be, be glad for that. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better than yesterday. Today is going to be alright, but you'll learn about that tomorrow, I guess. So without further ado, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like if you like, leave a comment if you have something to say, subscribe if you want more, and ding that bell to be notified when I upload each and every one of these. Uh, so, I'll catch you guys and guys later. Didn't get any comments about the salute thing.